territoriorock.com Notas, entrevistas, comentarios, videoblogs, todo esto y mucho más en territoriorock.com Victoria Rock, I'm Victoria and I'm the lead singer for Victoria K and this was a solo project and I kind of formed the band. Hi Territoria Rock, I'm Sherry Vengeance, I'm the extreme vocalist from Victoria K and I joined the band about a year ago because I love Victoria's voice and the music is pretty awesome and I think you're going to love it too. Hey Territoria Rock, I'm James Davies and I'm the drummer for Victoria K. I've also been in the band for about 12 months. I joined ahead of our first performance supporting El Wadey here in Melbourne, Australia. And I joined the band because when I was shown Victoria's music, it reminded me a lot of my influences, uh, including bands like Nightwish, Opeth, and El Wadey. So that was pretty cool to support them first up. Hey, Territoria Rock. My name is Marty and I play bass in the Victoria K Band. Um, I joined the band back in November last year. Uh, Sherry basically sent me a copy of the album and um, told me that I was looking for a bass player and then I heard it. I thought it was amazing. And the next thing you know, we're shooting a couple of music videos and we're rocking and rolling. It's been a good ride so far and uh, looking forward to playing some shows. Hey guys, I'm Julia and I'm the lead guitarist of Victoria K. Uh, I also joined the band around the same time as James actually. And so that was about a year ago and our first show ever was Aloidi, which was incredible. Um, it was actually the one of the biggest shows I've ever played. And um, I was just amazed by the reaction from the crowd and I love Victoria's music and yeah, I'm just really happy to be part of the project. Victoria K was always a solo project for me and when we started writing and I started getting my own material out there, I got the gig for the Alwadia show and I needed a band to perform that with. So I found these guys and we're still a band today. So we kept the name to maintain the brand because the brand was already out there and it was in the public eye and it was already quite developed. So that's why we kept the name and we're still going. But I, know there is time. I think our current songs, they're quite symphonic. They have a lot of orchestral elements in there, which I've gotten influence like that from bands like Nightwish and Within Temptation. And they've also got some um, like Middle Eastern sounds in there too, which I got from my heritage because I grew up listening to a lot of Greek music because that's what my family is. But overall, I think the music is quite symphonic and it's a blend of rock and metal and orchestral stuff, which I think is really, really cool. That's awesome. I love um, Victoria's take on the sound uh, that the album has because I absolutely agree what attracted me to the sound was that it was symphonic metal. As a classically trained uh, singer, that really struck a chord with me and, and it, my roots are very deeply embedded in a lot of goth music from like Theatre of Tragedy and, you know, um, all those really early 90s kind of that sound. Um, and as a Middle Eastern woman as well, some of the elements in Victoria's singing also really resonated with me and a lot of the style of vocals that I work with. So I absolutely agree. When I first heard the album, I was really taken by like, the arrangements of the record. First of all, the orchestra is phenomenal. And that really took me back to a lot of my personal influences, which like stem from ev everything from symphonic metal bands like Within Temptation, Nightwish, Evanescence, all the way through to actual symphonic music like Rachmaninoff and Liszt, and I really was taken by that. I was also taken by the heavy hitting drumming that's on the record, uh, recorded by a fantastic local drummer, Jerry Pantazis. 
and playing those parts is an absolute blast live and I love the songs and the arrangements are fantastic. I think the album has a really cool uh, vibe to it. There's a lot of symphonic arrangements. Um, I was really attracted to that, that blend of rock and metal. The drums are sort of pounding and the guitars are... They're still heavy, but they're not just, they're not crushing, you know. There's still a lot of melody and the, and the vocals have some really cool melodic arrangements as well. And so when I first heard it, I was kind of really taken into the world of Victoria K and the music. It creates like a really cool sound and just vibration, which I've, I've kind of been digging. So that was what drew me to the project. That's awesome, guys. I feel like you've, you've covered a lot of things. Um, and I think for me, as soon as I heard the music, I knew that I wanted to be a part of this and that I want to, I want to contribute to it. And I, I just, I love the sound and it was everything that I also had grown up with, um, like bands like Opeth and um, Metallica even. I, um, I was always playing... Um, a lot of that genre, but also like classical. So I can tell that the album really, it draws from a lot of genres and I, I love that always. So you can find us on most social media platforms. So our Instagram is Victoria K Official. Our Facebook is Victoria K Music Official. And our website is www.victoriakmusicofficial.com. You can find us on basically all streaming platforms, Apple Music, Spotify, Google Play, and our album is available for purchase at Rock Shots Records and on our website. At this time, I think it's, it's quite devastating what's happening, but we all just have to stay safe and keep our spirits up and keep going. I think it's an important time for musicians um, uh, and people who are introspective to kind of take a look at themselves, focus on their works and just try and keep ahead of the game and all the mental negativity that bogs you down. It's been a, a really interesting time to investigate like recording and collaborating via the internet. It's something I've been watching happen for a long time and now it's been a great time to dive into that world. I think it's important to take any sort of negative situation and try and put a positive spin on it and use your time wisely, you know, appreciate what you have and, and spend your time working on music or, you know, learning a new skill, developing yourself. That's what this time's for. So that's what I kind of think we should be trying to aim for. Yeah, I think it depends on how you look at the situation. You can you can make it go very negatively and get really lazy and um, get into bad habits or you can use it to your advantage and um, do all the things that you want to do and create some amazing music. I love the band honestly like everyone's got such a good vibe on stage and a great stage presence and everyone we all get along so well but something that's not so good at the moment is that we can't actually see each other or rehearse together or even perform together. There's nothing negative about the Victoria K band. Uh, I work with a group of high-end professionals. Um, our first show with Our Baby last year was phenomenal. Everybody is just well-spoken, super positive, and the only negative thing that is from this pandemic that we can't rehearse together um, or book our shows. Yeah, the positives to me in this band really stem all the way from like the behind the scenes management crew who are just phenomenal. And then the musicians that I get to work with are all, yeah, as Sherry said, top class professionals. And it's a really well oiled machine to be a part of. And the only downside is that well oiled machine can't be put to work at the moment. So looking forward to getting out there. Um, there really are no negatives for me. It's great to work with amazing musicians, really talented individuals. Um, everyone's got good vibes, the management team, the other performers, the players, everyone's just um, just killing it. So it's a real pleasure to work with, with such cool people. Good vibes only. I, yeah. <laughs> I, um, I really do think that, yeah, everyone's motivated and 
really positive in this band. I, I quite like it. Uh, I love playing um, live shows with them. I love rehearsing, doing music videos um, from what we've done so far, but it's only the beginning. And um, yeah, the only bad thing is that um, we just don't get to see each other as much as I want to, but um, so much time and uh, dedication has gone into this and it's something very special. A couple of years ago, I used to listen to Tridana, who are a power folk metal band. Um, really powerful stuff. And actually, I haven't been keeping up with what they've been doing lately, but the quality of musicians that South America produces is just, like, almost unrivaled. So I can't wait to explore South America with Victoria K and meet the amazing musicians there and get into Argentina soon. So I don't know any Argentinian bands, but I'd love to get some recommendations on who to check out. But I've heard the Argentinian crowds are the wildest in the world. So I'm yeah, I'm looking forward to getting over there and uh, maybe playing some shows out there and seeing what you guys have got. But I know there is time. Thank you so much for having us. It's actually, it's been amazing. Thank you so much to Gustavo and Territory Rock. I've loved it. It's been an absolute pleasure. This is my best Spanish. Muchas gracias, Gustavo y Territorio Rock. Oh, I've got to follow that. Oh. <laughs> I'd just like to say that it's been a great vibe hanging out. Thanks, Gustavo. Thanks, Territorio Rock. And hopefully we'll see you in the future. It's been a lot of fun hanging out. Thanks, Gustavo and Territorio Rock. Rock on. Thank you so much. That's it. <laughs> 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 Amazing. <laughs>